Today we got a story of a group of kids in this in the subscribers class who believe that the back rooms are real and they decide to make an entire cult around it. It's a pretty crazy story, so strap in, subscribe if you like stories, and let's call today's subscriber Declan. So in Declan's class, there was a group of kids that all believed that the back rooms are real. If you don't know, the back rooms are an internet legend that are kind of about like where you, it's like a separate multiverse that you can no clip out of. And it's like an endless series of rooms kind of looking like an old abandoned office. And uh, it's not real. I mean, who knows? But let's be honest, guys, I really do not believe it is real. And it's an internet legend. However, it's a very popular internet legend that regained a lot of popularity recently. And this is a very recent story. So anyways, a group of kids in Declan's class all believe that the back rooms are real. So they, just, they decided that they were going to start the back rooms cult. So anyways, right, uh, Declan only knew about this because his friend was telling him about this like crazy group of kids that was starting a weird cult around the back rooms or something. So Declan's like, all right, man, that's kind of weird. But anyways, this story all happened one day when Declan was just I don't know if he was walking to class walking from class for some reason he was walking alone and a kid comes up to him he says hey and Declan's like hey like I don't think I know you but what's up man he's like hey do you believe in the back rooms and Declan's like what and the kid says I'll repeat myself do you believe in the back rooms and Declan's like bro what are you talking about like that's an that's a meme on the internet and the kid's like I'll give you one more chance to reconsider your words. And Declan's like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, it's a joke on the internet. I'm so, the back rooms are real. No, they're not. No, they're not. Spoiler. Spoiler, guys. They're not real. I don't know, I don't know how to break it to you. They're not real. And Declan was kind of going off, being like, oh, yeah, the back rooms are fake, lol, whatever. I don't know, maybe he was in a bad mood, maybe he just wanted to troll this kid. But for some reason, he was just completely going off, right? And the kid is like, huh, interesting response. The back rooms cult has noticed. And the kid, like, mysteriously just, like, disappears as quickly as possible. And Declan is like, oh, boy. Because the thing is, right, Declan, he doesn't even know why he was going off on this kid. But he just realized that he has officially made the backrooms cult very angry. And look, Declan was not afraid of a bunch of, like, kids being like, who are the backrooms cult? Be afraid of us. Be scared. But at the same time, Declan is still not a fan of nonsense. He's not trying to deal with any BS that they're about to pull. And Declan is very, very, very certain that they're about to pull some BS, man. They're about to pull some crazy stuff out of their butt. So Declan is not very happy right now. He's like, oh my god, I just made the, the Backrooms cult mad. Because he also heard from his friend that the Backrooms cult does not like it when other people say that the Backrooms are fake. And in fact, one of their missions is to spread the good word of the Backrooms. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That was verbatim what I was told on Instagram. By the way, guys, uh, submit stories to my Instagram. I'm also going to make an email very, very soon. I just, give me a second. I'm sorry. I know it's taken a while. But anyways, right. So uh, yeah, uh, Declan was kind of thinking, oh man, well, these kids are going to be annoying to me now. And for an entire week, like an entire seven days, he heard nothing from any of them. He actually completely forgot about the backrooms cult entirely. This is when on the eighth day, the first thing happened. And it all started off like a normal day in school. Declan is dropped off by his mom, by mom. His mom's like, have a great day at school, honey, whatever. Walks off into school. And before like his first class, he goes to his locker because, you know, he, uh, I don't know, he like drops off something there or he just goes there. I don't know why, but he starts off his day going to his locker. And he goes to his locker and he notices that there is like, he opens it up to put something in there, maybe like gym clothes or something. And he notices that there's a piece of paper folded up. And he's like, oh, God. And he looks on the front of the piece of paper, and it says TBC. And, you know, at first Declan is like, what? Is that like a sandwich or something? And then he real realizes, oh, the backroom's cult. Oh, my God, bro. These kids, I thought they forgot about me. So anyways, right, Declan opens up this letter, and it basically says, this is an official notice that the backrooms cult has acknowledged your crimes against the backrooms. You will, you're like, your punishment will, um, will commence starting today. Like, 
may you never have like say your back rooms uh, may, may you never have the back rooms name in vain again or something like that and Declan is like all right well maybe like this is an empty threat maybe this is the only thing they're gonna do unfortunately for Declan it gets really creepy and weird and these strange kids that made the back room cult the thing is, they're not kidding around, because Declan kind of thinks when he reads this letter, he's like, yeah, these kids are definitely bluffing. Like, they're definitely doing this all for show. Like, this is super cringe, but also very annoying. But no, they're very weird, and you're going to see the strange things that they do. Real quick comment, back rooms or the back rooms down below in the comment section either works. I'm going to try and heart as many comments I possibly can that say that, as it's the secret word of the day. And I want to say, like, a little bit of appreciation for the people who watch my videos. And also, if you really want to support the channel, if you really want to give me that juicy, juicy watch time that boosts me in the algorithm, you are beautiful. Thank you very much. Uh, go binge watch my videos. Like, you can go watch them in a playlist or just watch a bunch of them. There's some that are recommended after this one. Uh, let me know in the comments if you binge watch the videos. I know I say this every single video, but it legitimately helps me out so, so much, and I'm super appreciative. I'm stalling too much. Anyways, back to the story. So remember, Declan just received a letter in his locker that says, the backrooms cult has realized your transgressions against the backrooms. Your sins will be punished. And Declan thought that they were bluffing, but he was a little bit scared of the fact that they said, your sins will be punished, or whatever, right? Because that's, that's a little sketch, right? So the entire day goes by. And the only weird thing that happens that isn't really that weird is in one of his classes, specifically his math class, there's a kid that he thinks is in the backroom's cult, but he's also not 100% sure because it's not like they have a public like Facebook page like welcomes to the backroom's cult or something like that. It's a little bit like it's hard to know who's in the backroom's cult. Besides like he only knows really the person who came up to him and like he's suspicious of two other people. But there's a kid in Declan's class in his math class that he believes is in the backroom's cult but he doesn't know. And this kid in his math class doesn't really do anything to Declan, but Declan just feels like that someone's watching him, him and he turns around and sure enough this random kid is staring at Declan and then quickly looks away. However, Declan is kind of paranoid for the rest of the class and he's kind of just like constantly like looking back and like, oh my God, is someone looking at me? Is this kid looking at me? But Declan never catches, catches this kid staring at him again. So he just feels weird because he doesn't know if this kid is like legitimately, uh, I don't know, like if this kid is legitimately in the back room's cult coming for him or if he's just randomly was looking at him because I randomly stare at people in class. It's kind of weird, but I'm just, I'm just spacing out, man. I'm like, oh shoot, my fault. But things really get weird in just a second, because at the end of the day, Declan kind of thinks, all right, well, nothing's really happening, so there's nothing really for me to be scared of, right? And Declan is walking home from school. So his parents drop him off, but since his parents get out from work much later than the school you know, gets out, and he doesn't live that far away, Declan walks back. And so Declan is walking back from school. And he's noticing that there is another kid walking back as well, and he's on the other side of the sidewalk. But the weird thing is, Declan walks this route every single day. And the thing is, no other kid ever walks this route. Like, legitimately, no other kid has ever walked this route with him at this time. He occasionally sees a biker, or he's seen a kid once or twice, but they're not walking back his route. And Declan gets more and more sketched out, when he looks behind him briefly and he sees another kid, not just one walking on the other side of him, but one walking directly behind him. Declan's heart begins to race. He's starting to freak out a little bit. And he's just like, all right, Declan, you just gotta get home. These are either this is a coincidence or it's a bunch of weirdos in the back rooms cult. Like they're actually not a problem. At least he's telling himself this. So he walks all the way back. And the weird thing is, right, Declan lives decently far out and he doesn't really know anyone else that goes to a school in his neighborhood or his immediate neighborhood. Yeah, someone who's like a two minute walk, but not someone who lives like on a stretch. And he keeps walking. And Declan's stretch of house is, is at like the very end of the neighborhood before it kind of goes into like a highway that goes to a city or whatever. And these kids, they keep walking. So they kind of walk by the majority of houses. And Declan at this point is like, I almost know for a fact that these kids do not live in any of the houses I'm about to pass. And then beyond my houses is legitimately the highway. Like there's not a shot that these kids are like living on the highway, man. Like that's just not a thing. So Declan is just like kind of freaked out. And these kids aren't like necessarily looking at Declan. They're looking at their phones. They're listening to music. They're kind of looking around but they're most definitely following him 
because they're all, because all of a sudden a third one appears pretty far in the back. But Declan's like, oh my God. And the thing that gives it away is he looks back and he looks at the third one and he sees something on their shirt and he can't figure out what it is. And this is when he realizes that like he takes out his phone and he pretends to take a Snapchat. But what he actually does is he takes a Snapchat of the other person in the background. And uh, you know, while it's pretty blurry quality, he sees this other person has a hoodie. And what do you think is on the hoodie? TBC. It's like a handmade hoodie, not handmade, but it's like ordered at one of those like make your own hoodie websites or whatever. And this kid is legitimately being so blatant wearing a backrooms cult hoodie. Like it's at this point, Declan's like, all right, well, he's like, okay, this is super weird, but like how scary actually is this? It's a bunch of like little Fortnite guys, like a little bunch of Fortnite boys following me. And one of them has like a really lame, like the backrooms cult hoodie on. So Declan like stops freaking out a little bit, even though it was kind of scary for a second, right? So anyways, right, Declan eventually gets to his house and he kind of like speed walks into his front yard, walks in and he gets into his house and he looks out the window, tries to be discreet about it and is pretty discreet about it. He looks out the window and he sees that all the kids that were following him, they simply just like walk by his house. However, Declan's sneaking suspicion was almost confirmed correct. I mean, besides the kid who wore the backrooms cult like hoodie, he saw that all the kids, instead of continuing to walk by because they would literally have to walk into a highway, all congregated like they all came together and they all started staring at Declan's house and Declan's like oh my god what and anyways right they all kind of look at each other and they all start pointing at his house and then they all walk away together and Declan's like all right this is getting weird even though these are just some like little Fortnite boys like I don't really care bro like I'm a uh, look these kids are not that intimidating but what they're doing is weird so anyways right you know he kind of tells his mom he's like hey like there's a group of kids at my school that say that this internet meme is real, and I said it's fake, and then they have a little group behind it. They call themselves the Backrooms Cult, and, you know, they asked me if I thought the Backrooms were real, and I told them no, and I wasn't the nicest about it, but, like, whatever. That's kind of irrelevant. But they've been, like, they sent me a letter in my locker saying that I were, I'm going to have to pay consequences, and they also, they followed me back home. And they're like, they followed you, and his mom's like... Like, Declan, they followed you back home. And he's like, Mom, it's very weird. But, like, I was noticing people were walking all the way down to our street, which, you know, is at the very end before a highway. And I didn't recognize any of the kids from being in the neighborhood. And one of them is even wearing a backrooms cult hoodie, which, you know, he shows her the photo. And his mom's like, well, what if that's a logo for something else? And Declan's like, well... Maybe, but no, because of this. He goes into his backpack and he takes out the letter that is stamped with TBC, right? So she's like, oh my God, like that's the exact same format and everything. He's like, yeah, so uh, just a little, they were also looking at our house and pointing. It's pretty weird. I don't know these kids. I just want you to be aware. And Declan's mom like, all right, well, I'm actually going to call the school because this is really strange. And so sure enough, right, uh, you know, Declan is kind of just in his room playing Minecraft or Fortnite or, I don't know, just not doing homework, man. He's just chilling. He's having a good time. And he just gets a weird feeling, kind of a bit of like a chill up his spine or whatever. He's just like, eh, okay. And for some reason, he's just inclined to like get up from his chair, kind of like, I don't know, take a break between games. And he walks by his window and he something catches in the corner of his eye. And he's just like, eh. And he goes back. And he looks out the window and he's just like, huh? because he looks out and there's a bunch of kids standing in his backyard, all wearing T B. Wait, wait, the back room. So TBC, sorry. <laughs> that kind of, I'm sorry if I kind of broke the atmosphere. But a bunch of kids wearing TBC sweatshirts. All because it's like TBC is in white and the rest of the, the hoodie is black. And they're all they have their hoods on and they're all looking up and they're just like ominously staring into his window. And he's like, oh, my God. So he quickly takes a video of it and kind of zooms in on their faces a little bit. Yeah, they had their like their hoodies up. But at the end of the day, you could still see their faces pretty well, bro. They weren't hiding anything if we're being honest. And so he runs downstairs. He's like, mom, 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 look in the yard. And his mom's like, oh my God, do you know those kids? He's like, look at their hoodies. And she's like, oh my God. And his mom's like, all right, I already sent an email to your school, but I'm sending a follow-up. Like, do you have proof of this? And he's like, yeah, I took a video. I'll send it to you. And then Declan takes another video, zooming in on their faces, showing everything. And then he notices all the kids like, sprint out of his yard quickly. And I think like they noticed that he saw them and they just wanted to intimidate him. So after that, they ran away. So he's super weirded out. Declan, you know, calls up a bunch of his friends to go to his school. 
And he especially calls up the one who's like told him about the backroom's cult. He explains the entire story that I just told you. And all of his friends are like, yeah, man, it's super weird. And he's also like, one of his friends is like, dude, like the exact same thing happened to me. And he's like, I was talking to other people and apparently it's happened to other people too. They've been going up to random people. And if you say that you don't believe in the back rooms, they've been creepily stalking you in their hoodies. It is the weirdest thing ever. So Declan is just like, oh my God, this isn't like a, like a singular thing. So Declan's mom gets on Facebook, posts the findings and her post like reaches all these parents that go to a school. And she gets all these replies from parents saying, yes, these weird kids have been stalking my son as well. They've been stalking my daughter. It's like very creepy. It's very strange. And, you know, Declan's mom was like, well, I've reported them to the school. And they were like, yeah, we reported them too. Did you get faces? And they said, yeah, we got pretty clear faces in the video. And so sure enough, right the next day, Declan goes in and everyone's talking. And this is really unusual because when Declan walked into class, it's normally kind of silent if people are cracking a few jokes, but people were buzzing. And, you know, he sits by his friend. He's like, dude, what's going on? Did something happen? And the and the guy, because, like, this friend in his class, he did tell about what happened the day before. He said, yeah, you know the backroom cult, like, all those kids in it? They all got suspended for a week. And Declan's like, bro, what? And he's like, yeah, apparently they were, like, yeah, they were stalking a ton of different kids, and the school got so many reports, and these kids were kind of stupid. Yeah, they showed up, and, like, they, they didn't even bother hiding their faces. And, you know, at this point, right, you know, they sent the videos to the school, and the school, you know, they know who goes to the school, right? So they just looked at the faces and said, oh, we know all the kids. And, yeah, everyone in the back room's cult got suspended, and I heard that, like, their suspension was conditional, like, they said that, like, the stalking was, like, a really, really bad offense, and even if they didn't mean anything for it, it was really bad, and that it, they're getting suspended for a week, but if, like, if anyone catches, if they catch any word of, like, any other actions related to the backroom's cult, stalking-wise or not, like, even just, like, oh, we're gonna have a meeting, that they would all be expelled, like, all of them. Like, it was, like, one of the weirdest punishments that, like, uh, Declan's friend has ever heard. He's like, yeah, if one of them decides to have a meeting, like they're all getting done. It is crazy. The school is not having it, but they didn't straight up expel them all for some reason. And Declan's just sitting there like, wow, all of that because you believed in the back rooms, bro. Click That's on the crazy. video on screen right now. I know you'll enjoy it. Just click it, do it.